Smooch the pooch, take one. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm Jenna Diagardi. And I'm Will Petrie. <laughs> That's it. And then, goodbye. <laughs> and uh, welcome to Smooch the, the Tooch. Chronicling Stanley Tucci's Searching, Searching for Italy. Italy. Episode four. Episode four. We are no longer in Italy. No longer in Italy. And this is it for right now. Stanley, make more. Make more. We need an excuse to sit on the couch and do this. Today we are in London. London. We swapped out our beautiful Italian wines for a good old J and T. Oh yeah, baby. Gin and tonic. Get that in there. Ooh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my goodness. And cheers. cheers. To you. Can you speak to the tie-dye? <laughs> sure. <laughs> I was coming over to uh, to shoot and I was like, oh, London, swinging 60s, tie-dye. I don't know if that was a part of the landscape back then. This is more 70s hippie, but um, I had this and uh, I showed up in Jenna, Jenna and that. And should we do the, the second part? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is really the part. So, Stupid. so as you know, every episode, we like to have like a little bit of a nod. We do minimal research, maximum commitment. Thank you. Which Grazie. is a phrase coined by Emma Tattenbaum. Fine. Cheers to you, Emma. I cannot take credit for that. We decided for this season finale of sorts <laughs> to go into headwear. We've we've kind of been uh, neck neck down. In London, there are all sorts of um, hats that one might wear. For instance, this might feel a little topical. <laughs> I thought I lost this, and some friends of mine were uh, getting rid of some stuff from their storage unit, and they had this crown. I was like. You I couldn't find my crown. I had to get it. And then my old crown, which happens to be... So you do have two. The queen is dead. Long live the queen. <laughs> Long live the queen. Mine is a nod to both things that might happen in London. <laughs> I, I won't be doing any accents. I won't be doing any accents. That'll be it for me. And also my main man, Stanley. As we know, he is often seen wearing a newsboy cat. <laughs> oh my God. It's that's an interesting great. one. That's a great shape. It's an interesting one. Now I own this. That's something no that returns. now you have. No returns. No returns. As I purchased this, my friends were they were clearing out their storage thing, but they, they parked the U-Haul on Wyckoff and Star in Bushwick. That particular Saturday, House of Yes had this like big outside like festival. Across the street, there was a place called Queen and they were doing drag queen brunch. Daylight streaming on the things, but they're like in these like leotards, crazy heels on the street blasting, I don't want no short dick man. I bought this crown and a huge box fan. There's like all these other people on the sidewalk, not at drag brunch, just sort of watching and gawking. I walked by like this with this thing and I'm like, it's a good thing we live in New York, huh? And I didn't realize I was wearing the hat, but then he looks at me and he's like, what is going on? <laughs> like, uh, in a New York, New York Minute. It's a New York. <laughs> it's you know a New York. <laughs> you don't know that song? A New York Minute? I gotta know who sings it. Hold okay. on. Yes. Every, I've heard that. Yes. <gasps> we also got some crisps, love. Oh, God. What do you think about accents? Can we do them or can we not? I'd say that's fine, but I, the question I really need to ask you is what are your thoughts on actors who love a good English accent? Oh my god. Like, who love it in their in their real life or...? Like, who just pepper it in Ugh. throughout the day. Like, people who say huzzah, like... <laughs> I've been holding this ship. Mmm. Salt and vinegar. That's correct. I love chips. Crisps. Look at the ham. All right, crisps. Right, translator. Smooch the tooch, take tooch. Okay, somehow we got it working. We're upset and it's dark. Okay, so we're in London. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you, mate. This is one of my favorite places in the world. But you'll never guess where it is. It's my fantastic And whatever you prefer. Ooh, Ooh French fries. fries. <laughs> oh, oh, that zucchini wow. blossom. That so good. I don't even want to talk anymore. So he's going to give us the Italy of London. We're not gonna be seeing fish and chips, I don't think. I'm Italian on both sides. Thank you. London's Grazie. been my home for about a decade now. Okay. We can tell. In my mind, no city in the world can rival its elegance and charm. Really? It's a magnetic metropolis twice the size of New York City. Okay. Whatever. Size queen. Whatever. And today, I've managed to sneak in before the lunch crowd arrives. And Big it turns clients. out Francesco's cooking a dish I've never tried before. So what are you gonna make? Scottish scallops with nduja and salsa verde. Whoa. Scottish. Couple of things. Please. I have never seen a scallops shell. 
Can I just say something? I'm going to be completely vulnerable and honest. I thought a scallop came as its own thing. A little piece of meat floating in the ocean? Yeah. Didn't know that. I was today years old when I learned that. Is a Calabrian sausage do ya. that typically do ya. scraped on a bit of old bread. I thought it was okay, pronounced no, Duja. I have the children of small that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, that's oh, beautiful. Yeah, that is really, really... Whoa. Just put your fucking put thumb right in that thing. Oh. The way he put his thumb right in that thing, I was sort of like... Is that my vagina? Yeah, very sexual. That's why every time I see his hands touching food, I you, feel you like, like it's it. my vagina. <laughs> oh, sure. That's nice. Oh, I'm out of filet on the Oh! This is the yeah. usual. It's like a candy, practically. Yeah. Um. It's unusual, but... Whoa. Whoa. I'm, I'm salvinating yeah. again. <laughs> oh, he beer, just keeps anchovies, parsley, elevating capers, it. egg whites, and garlic. Oh. Calabrian ex oil. Oh, my. It's juniper branches here. Just to give a bit of decoration to the dish. Right. Just a little bit. Oh! There's a lot going on in that plate. He just keeps... I, I needed it to stop at the shell. I wanted it to stop with the shell. Maybe we should um, trust the process. But I'm, I'm having a reaction to there being a lot of ingredients because, you know, in Italy, it's like... They Simple. scream at you. If, like, there's four things. Yeah. Anything more than four, they, That's they scream. That's it. The one who really sort of introduced it. I was the one who introduced Duce to 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 put on. And now you find it everywhere. And now is wow, a great okay. part of your ingredient list. This feels that way about that. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind a generation or two ago would have thought of Calabria as somewhere that, you know, had a, a cuisine. Okay. But we're looking in the wrong place if we think that somehow it was peasants who magically yeah, transplanted exactly. yeah. this food onto our tables. I have feelings about the this. The real Whoa. motors of Italian cuisine are cities. It was people, like, it was poor people in the country who were like, we don't have um, a lot, so how do we make the most of this? Is my understanding of, like, the best food, not only in Italy, but, like, everywhere. I'm having a... Negative reaction. Strong reaction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Whereas London is more competitive, but as they say in Italian, nessuno ti guarda in faccia. Nobody looks at who you are, they look at what you can do. Right. Olive oil mash and crispy potatoes. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's a lot. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's gorgeous, but there is a lot happening. I think London is a place where a chef has to be in the morning because everything's possible here. There's a pretension present that I don't love. In the previous three episodes, did we see any of that? Any of that, like... No! That ego was not on display there, and it's like, is that a reflection of the editing of how those three episodes went, or is that a reflection on where we were? I think it's a reflection on where we were. This is Cathedral oh. of Food. Oh, that's this so is cool. Mercato Mayfair. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, I that's love him! Place. Look at the color of that. With Look the at the way. Lemony pasta. Let's I get have one fucking kilo. pasta. I have one question for you, which is, have you ever been to London? I've been to London three or four times. The time I went there, uh, the previous time, which is the last time I saw my dad in twenty in 2009, I met this Italian boy. Did I ever tell you this story? I met this Sicilian coat check boy at a club. I went there with like a friend of a friend, and I was like, I'm going to do this for a few days. And like, I spent like two nights with this boy named Ivan Notorio. <gasps> the, the notorious Ivan, if, you, if you're out there. Smooch the toot, take throoch. <laughs> and we're back at my house with enough wild rocket for a Roman legion. I've seen on his Instagram his kitchen. The doors, the, it's the what are they called? The pulls. It, I like, I, that's a very, it's very it's good style. It's really styling. beautifully done. Yeah, he does a good job. Smell it. Oh my god. Where I come from I like in Amalfi Coast, yeah. lemons, 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 squeeze, 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 eat, eat, eat. Amalfi Love lemons him. are renowned across Italy for their yes. incredible sweetness. Mmm. The chili don't have to be hot. Yeah. The chili bring out the... Wait, did you see me? You have the same chilies. Are the are these are these Italian chilies? My dad grew these in his garden. I'm trying to dry them out so that I can have crushed red pepper flakes like from these. See, every, they're getting a little dry. Every time I touch a jalapeno, I always either touch my oh, nose. Oh no. this or isn't my, the same. Or thing. my penis, like, it, 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 like, and I wash my hands, but like some of the. Oh, the penis is upsetting. Always burn, burn. There's a fire. Look at that. Ah. As soon as it comes up, it's ready. Yeah. And at least a little bit of them, it doesn't matter. 
If it's a little al dente, it doesn't matter. That's right. Gennaro's tagliolini with a malfi lemon and London rocket. May not be a strictly traditional recipe. That is gorgeous. It's a lovely peppery wine rocket. Look at how beautiful that is. But it's with beautifully simple and inventive. One, two, three, four ingredients. Gennaro was able to change London's culinary scene forever. Cool. Three. Is Felicity here? Fel Felicity? She's on Ever camera. Let me see. Oh, it looks good. How are you? We just made Hi, this. Hi, Felicity. He's zesting me. Oh! He's zesting. I feel as if they have a very sexual relationship. It's like the Morticia and Gomez Adams thing of like, they're just, in the first iteration of the Adams family, there was like a little description of like, these people were put on earth to fuck each other. Like, you cannot go too far. And that's why like in every iteration, yeah. they're just like. <laughs> what about the, have you ever seen the aprons that are like, like a bikini body? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've seen, I've seen t-shirts with a bikini yeah, body, yeah, but there's yeah, an apron. Yeah. I think there's an apron. <laughs> also, I saw this thing on the internet of like, if you're a dad at a grill and you have those tongs and you don't clip them every two seconds, are you even a dad? And I'm like, no. I'm like, no, you're not. No. And I'm always like, clip, clip, always clip, clipping clip, them. clip, clip. Always clipping them. Hey, Matthew, I need some chicken. So probably those carcasses and maybe... Angela has invited me over to her house for lunch with her oh. extended Welsh-Italian family. Good morning. Oh, yeah. what? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yes, yes. We'll take some red to um, yeah, cook right. with and yeah. we'll take the white. That's exciting. You can carry the white, sir. Oh, yeah, sure. How do you feel about her? I, I, um, uh, it's, it's, we're going, we're going back English, and, um, the descent is, there's some turbulence. Yeah! It's every time we're going into British people, and I, I don't know anything about her, she could be lovely, uh, we might fall in love with her mm, in 30, I don't have a watch, in like 30 seconds, maybe we're primed for a different, um, a different, uh, you know what I'm talking about. There's no squeezing the lemon and, have the, and having the juice run down your fucking forearm. It's not primal. It's all very, like, it's all very... Curated. Curated. I'd rather be, like, dirty and in Italy. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> you know what dirty I mean? and in Italy. I'd yeah. rather, like, have shit all over me. Like, food all over me. Like those farmer boys in, in the last episode. I will be your eggplant. I will um, be your eggplant. Farm me. A, a trail, trail of breadcrumbs. Bread well, you gotta cook a little bit first. Oh, Mr. That's what is that? That's a ham. Just like mine, like Angela's grandparents were Italian. Almost 80% of the original Welsh Italian population can trace their heritage to the same village. Oh. Party. That's interesting. He must have burned his mouth. <laughs> Breadcrumbs and cheese, affordable even to the poorest families, yeah. take the place of meat in the filling system. Angela's mother, Juliana, her aunt Viv, and Uncle Ren have arrived just in time Thank to God. the work of filling. Bring them in. in! Bring, Bring them in! in. <laughs> so you were all born here. You get that great confusion between cultures of making pasta, yeah, drinking right. tea. Yeah. Maybe this is part of her post-mortem, but as like an Italian-American to kind of like, I'm curious for your hot take of Italian Brits because like there there are things that are like you know like we discussed even in the first few episodes of like you want to make the distinction between like you're not Italian Italian right. you're Italian American which is it's it is its own thing and you you kind of straddle a couple of different worlds and mm -hmm. as as this family does here mom's about to try the I love love the, mom. the breadcrumbs okay. mm -hmm. Should I get a bit more salt? A bit more salt, okay, that's fine. Media critic. Tell him the tea, tell him the tea. Yeah, don't get too big, Mr. Teacher. I'm sorry. I mean, honestly, turn your back for one minute and it all goes to pop. I might love her. I might love her. Just press them down and then you use your stamp. She's a slow bird. She's a slow bird. Those are gorgeous. I turn my back for a minute and it all goes to pop. To pop. Which is also, that's a great British expression. Great it British all goes thing. to pot. It all goes down the shitter, as we would say. <gasps> oh, they're so gorgeous. And they went right in the broth? Yeah. Cheers. I've heard a lot about you. She's probably 105, yeah, that oh, <laughs> Easily 142. Yeah. Mmm, I can smell the oh. Angela. Yeah. No, but that's, that's delicious. They're very good. So simple. It's so, like, like, it's not visually, like... <laughs> But Popping, but like I'm, I'm, it's my mouth is watering. Breadcrumbs, it's cheese, it's the pasta, and it's chicken broth. It's homemade chicken broth. That's all you want. Do you want a crown? 
We, we're like about halfway through. Do you want to switch to crowns? Yeah, I think I have to switch. <sighs> My head heavy, is heavy, hot. Heavy is a head oh. over the crown. Oh, hold on. You're, you're showing your... Uh... <laughs> like this? No. Oh, look at us. We're doing all right. Is like, this one bigger? Something should we try? Very big on me. Should we exchange crowns? I think that one's oh, bigger. Oh, I think it is oh bigger. Oh, it's significantly bigger. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> King and queen. Oh. <laughs> That's what it is. We found it. I was wearing a jaunty little, like, little princess cap. Okay. That's what it is. Thank we you. That's... Now we can begin. Cheers. Okay. Oh, oh mia mamma. Bon, mamma buongiorno. Mia. Actually, when I came to London, you know, I realized I was missing mama suit lots. You know, I, I lost about 20 kilos. Where do you want to start? The hair. Uh, he's making some choices, and I don't think those choices are uh, flattering him. Just shave your head. I think Maybe he, we're still on a journey. I think he might be cute bald. The face is good. The nose is good. He has beautiful eyes. Beautiful eyes. Get rid of the goatee. Oh! These daring mothers left their homes in search of opportunity. There's so many beautiful regions in Italy. Why should we make ourselves to one mama island? Why don't we bring mama from different regions? Is this yeah. idea? Sorry, I have a couple of issues. It feels very like gendered of like, let's get on my mama's in the kitchen. Okay, let's just see more. Uh, let's let's write it out. Let's write it out. La tradizione della domenica, le famiglie devono mangiare il ragù. Sunday sauce. Beef ribs, cuts of pork, sausages, thinly cut slices of steak are all browned, then poached in red wine. How are you feeling? I've said it before on this, and I'll say it again. If I was there, I would eat it. Yeah. If I was there, I would eat it. No, uh, no right. fucking question. What do you use? We what kind do, of meat? We usually do half ground beef, half ground pork. You ready for something to get it a little elevated? No, yeah, prosciutto. That you can usually go to a butcher and get their meatball mix, which is usually beef, pork, veal. The veal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, buono marito. No, marito. No, sono separata. 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 Uh, tu sei affascinata. Fascino. Fa sexy. Wow. <laughs> That's the one English word you know. I don't know if it was editing, but it seemed like she went straight from, we're separated, right. you're sexy. You're sexy. <laughs> Come meet me behind the meat sauce. I mean, I do want that to be my future. Yeah, I do like her quite a bit. <laughs> It's okay. The thing about him, it's the mamas. They are bringing the food. It. I don't. I'm not enjoying him. Yeah. With its promise of opportunity, this city attracts immigrants from across the globe. Tambourine. Each of these adventurous mothers arrive in London. It. It does feel like I love them, and um, like they all come here. They don't speak English. Like I. I I'm just getting an exploitative vibe that, and maybe it's coming from him. Yeah, I would I rather know. see them in Italy. I would rather see them where they're from. I'd, I'd rather see like one of the mamas be like running the show. I'd rather see one of the yeah, mamas running the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good point. What I did love is just see some tambourines come out. I oh, would, sure. I would love, ideally, I wind up in a situation where I'm cooking uh -huh. for people <laughs> and then I play the tambourine at the end of the night. I mean... The, the French, French Connection! So this is chicken a la princess. Cream chipesa or something like that. We're kind of like chicken princesses, the two of us. Uh, no, I feel more like a beef king. Do you feel like a chicken princess? I feel a little bit like a chicken princess. <laughs> London's creme de la creme lapped up these dishes, but it was all a sleight of hand dreamed up by Quo Vallis's notorious owner, Peppino Leone. Masolti in bocca wouldn't have been called that, and certainly Peppino Leone. I do believe that he was certainly a supporter of fascism. Just as well, there were some Italians who liked the fascism. I mean, that's just uh, part of the historical record. There were there were some Brits who were there was like a whole British yeah. group of folks who liked. I the appreciate fascism. her transparency. Every single Italian male over the age of sixteen was rounded up and interned in camps outside of London. I didn't know that. Did you know that? No. So they're giving us some unfortunate but important history. Sure. I, I do appreciate the history lesson because yes. I, I don't know any of this. I did not know that. Uh, I mean, I know that in 
the U.S., uh, the U.S. government rounded up Japanese people in internment camps. I, I certainly knew that, but I did not know that they did this to Italians no. and Britain. Who could have imagined that this little cup of espresso, grazie, would become a symbol of Italian glamour and the taste of La Dolce Vita mm. all over the world? This is the only time that they've ever talked about glamour. In all the other episodes that we've seen, they've never talked about glamour or this idea of perception. Mm. And now that we are like removed because we're not in Italy, we're in London, it's all about like, how do, what do we think of the Italians? I think part of my reaction against some of the way people are talking about it is like that perception. It's sort of like, because I'm looking at you, I'm perceiving you a certain way, I'm placing value and judgment on you based on where I'm coming from culturally, which yeah. is like... Very rooted in white supremacy. I mean, like, we can talk about, like, the expanding perception of whiteness and how, like, for a very long time, Italians were not considered white. The same way that Spanish people were not considered white. It just overall feels like in London there's much more of an awareness of um, what it is presenting to be. The, prese the presentation. The presentation. The presentation yeah, is... Uh, of the food, of everything of the dining experience of all of it as opposed to like in all of the episodes in Italy it's felt very much from il cuore from the heart you know it's just like this is just what it is and what it's always been but even the those Castardi brothers the I know either, yes. oh the fancy the fancy boys yes. they were still sort of like they were rooted in like they were what the grandparents were saying of like oh you're crazy but like you know they were like no I'm taking from art from cinema yeah. the, that seemed to felt be from the passionate. very passion for it as opposed to Perception, glamour, competition, competition voting. Okay, we got four minutes left. We got this. We got this. It'll take us thirty-five minutes. I'm in the west, down at the center of London. Oh no, Mother Pearl. The brains behind this mozzarella super lab is former investment Ooh. banker Simona Di Vieti. So hello. Pause to say former investment banker Simona now runs a mozzarella factory. Work. There's something about the way, even in the first shot of her, the way that she looks at things, she has very, uh, I feel like she has very discerning eyes. Yeah. I'm excited to see more. Why are she you has her eyes on everything. In Acton. Well, it started with me leaving Italy 20 years ago. The magic of mozzarella oh. begins when rennet is added to milk. Rennet? To separate the curds and white. What's rennet? It's a thing that you add to... Cool. <laughs> I know exa what he said okay. was... separate the curves oh. <laughs> That's all I know. Okay, okay. This is the starting point. <gasps> put that thing in the Still warm. I love that. Even more wonderful than Simona's mozzarella is another cheese her team makes using her mozzarella. Porata. It looks almost identical. But it's a ball of deliciousness called burrata from burro, Italian for butter. So I'll show you the burrata. Oh, yeah. It's a flat. It goes from the middle and it's gonna shred it into lines of mozzarella. Stracciatella. Stracciatella. You mix ah! the stracciatella with the cream and salt. Now, this is the filling of your burrata. Oh yeah. my this is making God! It and then put the stracciatella. So that's what burrata is. That's what it is. Fill me like your burrata. <laughs> Plant me like your eggplant. Fill me like your burrata. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Enclosed within this little mother of pearl cheese is perhaps the future of Italian gastronomy. That's really delicious. I may need, um, can you, can you hold down the fort while I throw myself together a little gin and tonic to decompress? I know that you, do you want, do you want one too? Okay. I love gin and I know you really like gin. I, there are some people who are really anti-gin. I don't understand. I think that they, they may have had, um, a bad gin experience and I, I'm sorry for them. I'm sorry that they have not had better gins, but gin is great. And, um, you know, we're all on our own journey is really what I want to say about that. Ooh, I think we just dropped our lines. At the same time? At the exact same time. Cheers. Cheers. I, I heard what you were saying in yeah. the other room. I, the times that I've been to London, I've had great Indian food. I've had great, like, you know, fish and chips in, like, uh, like the newspaper cone. 
great. Um, but I don't really remember the food, but every time I went there, it was sort of like a very unique experience. You know what I still remember? Fish and chips in Edinburgh when I came to visit you. Yes. I was there for 36 hours. We saw, I saw your show and then like four other shows in those 36 hours. But we got fish and chips and I remember sitting in your flat that you shared with everybody. Yeah. Eating those fish and chips, I remember, and they were so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a spot that we that was like down you the street. You took me from there, a, like the night that I got there. Or something. There was a spot that was super close to our flat. That was almost ten years ago. I also remember from that trip, it's, it's Edinburgh, and even though it's like it was August, it was like cold oh and rainy. She buys an umbrella, ten euro, something 12 like that. Euro. Twelve euro. Twelve euro. About to put the change back in the wallet. Walks outside, pops open the umbrella. <laughs> Is like halfway through putting the thing, and a wind comes and completely destroys shatters. your umbrella. Shatters, shatters your umbrella. I, you hadn't put your change no, away in your purse. No, I had the change in my <laughs> hand. I specifically remember. In one hand, I had the I change love that story. and the little like um, the little like sleeve that the umbrella. The lingerie, <laughs> the, like the, the lingerie. The umbrella comes in. <laughs> yeah. I pulled that off. I had my change in my hand. I went. And it just Immediately. shattered. It was a 12 euro umbrella. It had a map of Edinburgh on it. Like it was one of those super touristy umbrellas that yeah. it was raining so hard. I was like, I just have to get one. That was so fun. And my memory is, I think like we both laughed like idiots and then you walked about 10 feet and you put it in the garbage Trash. can. It was like, okay, this is 12 euros. Like it was, it was Trash. so quick. It was, the whole thing took 60 seconds. Do you have... One moment from the four that we've watched together that is like really standing out to you. The Piedmont episode really did it for me. Every single person we met in um, yeah. in Piedmont, like that that sense of of gratitude, that that, that sense of um, being a part of your landscape and not necessarily like trying to manipulate that. I mean, I also feel like we had some really great conversations about how that relates to our experiences of New York and sort of honestly like our careers which like yeah you know there is a lot there's always like greater heights to achieve how do you cultivate for yourself like um, a practice of gratitude while also being like yeah the reality is like there could always be other ways to you know uh, other projects I'd say it was the very end of Piedmont with that woman who walked away saying like you you look at the mountains and you just shut up and you just shut up because they're impossible to talk about and as someone who's very verbose and like has lots of things to say about like I I hunger for those moments or those experiences where it's sort of like same question for you there's a lot that I connected to in Piedmont yeah the woman at the vineyard who was like around my age that whole like third act of the Piedmont episode with her and then the Alps yeah that was a great that was I, I think strong we, but also what's coming up for me is episode three, which by the time you see this, you will have seen, but has not come out yet. Giorgione. The sure. Viva Noi. What, were the, what was the three? Yeah. <laughs> what was the three things he said? It was like, Viva Umbria, Viva something, Viva Noi. And then the other thing, which was in the Piedmont episode, is the that coffee that was three different temperatures. Coffee, chocolate, cream, three different temperatures. Sorry with the B. What was it called? Bicharin. 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 What did you just call me? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for being a part of our journey. We've had so much fun with you. Oh, I've had so much fun with so you. So much fun. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, should we do like the end? So should, what did we yeah, say? Uh, we don't know. So that's <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Smooch. <laughs> that Tooch. Oh, we did it. We did it perfectly the last time. We did it. We love Bye. you. Bye. And we'll see you soon. Mwah. Mwah. Oh.